I'm going to be looking at uh, CS or continuous supply mode for task forces. Uh, I've set up two task forces to do this. Uh, CS allows the player to uh, set up a task force to automatically load and then set to a destination, the ship will, or the task force will go there, uh, unload and then come back to the original base, uh, load the same cargo again and then go back to the secondary base again. So just to show you, at Tokyo I've created a task force, just a transport task force. Uh, I'm going to load flight and then I'm going to set my destination. I need to do this before I set the newest supply mode. So I'm going to set my destination to uh, Saipan. And now to get to new supply, I just change from human to computer control once more to the CS Saipan. So we'll load these supplies and then head off there. Let's go and have a look at one other option, which is up to Port, Port Arthur here. Uh, You'll notice that most uh, resources cool here in the uh, Grand Campaign now. So I've got a task force here. You'll notice that my capacity, I've tried to keep my ships almost the same capacity. This helps with loading and unloading. So uh, this time I'm going to load resources and I'm going to set my destination once again. This time I'm going to set it to placebo. Uh, and once again, change from human to computer control to CS Nagasaki Cuba. It sets it automatically to cruise speed, I don't like this, uh, I need to turn it back to mission speed. It also adds some uh, support vessels here, so uh, for the purposes now I'm not going to. And that basically concludes setting up a CS complex.